You guys, it is a new year and it is resolution time. And who better to help you make them all come true than our guest. For more than 15 years, she has been helping transform people's lives as a change strategist, author, speaker, and award-winning professional personal organizer. She is amazing. We have so much to talk about. And if you're ready to go to the next level, then you're ready to get buzzed with the fabulous Christine Aller. Yeah, baby. Oh, well, thank yeah. you How very are much. You? I'm really great. We are so excited about having you. Thank you so much for being you. here. Happy belated yeah. New Year. Thank you. I'm happy to be in the zebra chair. <laughs> right? Well, that is very a cool famous. zebra chair. It is. Yes. Right? Yeah. No zebra was harmed in the making of that <laughs> chair as an advocate, I have to say. Oh. <laughs> so zebra. Um, well, anyway, Christine, we're so we're so excited about having you on the show today because you know Stacy did a lot of research on you um, and she was telling me about all this stuff that you do and all the people that you have worked with some of which have been on Vio Buzz mm -hmm. Weekly so yes, she works yes. with some pretty high caliber um, pros out there who are probably where they're at because of you um, but uh, we're so excited <laughs> and, and Stacy was telling me all the things that you do and I'm like yeah. oh man this is going to be so great breaking out the new year yeah, you know, with having it. you help everybody get their thoughts right and their thinking right so that they can take this year and make it their best year ever. There's nothing I like to do more than that. That is honestly. awesome. I know. I know. And I love, I mean, I love, you're so clearly passionate about what you do, which we love. And I know everyone's going to just feel that coming from you. So let's dive right in and let's just talk about, um, okay, now you started, you were a professional actor mm -hmm. for 10 years in ten LA. Years, yeah. So can you take us from how you went from there to where you are now? Sure. Give so, us the whole I was actually born in LA, so I'm a native. Wow. Beautiful. That's and unique. I came out of the womb going, actor. So that's what I did. But my parents were like, you can do whatever you want after you finish college. Mm -hmm. Right. So I went to Oregon for school because I wanted to experience weather. That right. was my main criteria. <laughs> and so I came back to Los Angeles to live with my parents because that's what everybody does after college. Right. And I started acting. And I did that for 10 years. And I had success. I worked in equity theater, SAG, AFTRA, and did a bunch of commercials. However, my career suffered from the good girl syndrome, where mm. I'll just be very quiet and professional, and then we'll notice my great work. And I was, I'm an introvert by yeah. nature, and so networking was super hard. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this if I'm going to have a career. And so I learned slowly and yeah. painfully how to do things like that. And I was managing a theater, and I read this article one day. It was just one page in, an, in a magazine about this guy who was a professional organizer. Now, this is before Google. So you oh, can't, okay. yeah. yeah, I'm <laughs> dating myself. But, but you couldn't just run home and like, oh, yeah. the world is doing this. So right. I just knew one guy was doing this. And I saw the words professional organizer, and I was like, well, that's <laughs> for me. Yeah. Because I'd been doing that my mm -hmm. whole life, yeah. forcing it on my younger sister, you know, mm -hmm. let's clean your room. No. Right. Um, so that was always a fun way Let's to spend a Saturday. The crayons. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I just made up business cards the very next day, and I just started awesome. telling people, "This is what I do." And I got clients, and I'd been doing it at every workplace that I'd yeah. been in, and I fell in love with it. And first of all, it was a really good way um, to support my acting. Mm -hmm. At first, it was just like, this is a great way to make money. I have a flexible schedule. I'm work working way more per hour than yeah. I was managing the theater. So that was great. The thing about it is that I was acting in a time before YouTube, before mm -hmm. Google, really. We had pagers. Um, I remember pagers. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do too. <laughs> and so you couldn't really do anything beyond theater to really, like, run as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, getting into the end of my 20s, and I really, I wanted to build something. And... As I talk about in my book, you know, when you when you have two big things you're trying to grow, I was trying to grow an acting career and an organizing career. And when I focused on one, the other lagged, mm -hmm. and then I focused on that, and the mm -hmm. other lagged, and it was like, oh, and so right at the end of my 30s, I'm like, I think I want to do this organizing thing. I think I want to see what would happen if I focused my full attention on it. Because I knew I could grow either one, right. but I knew that the opportunity in organizing was so much bigger because you could wake up in the morning and work as much as you want, as fast as you want, and just go. And that's mm -hmm. not something you can do as an actor, especially right, back right. then. 